Let's quickly look at the open surgery method for repair of femoral hernias. All right, so if you have a femoral hernia, uh, one way you can actually work towards repairing this femoral hernia is uh, what is known as what uh, the open surgery. Okay, so um, in the open, okay, there's an open surgery, there's a laparoscopic method, and there's the robotic method, right? But let's talk about open surgery. Open surgery just simply means you're doing an incision along that hernia to repair it physically, right? While laparoscopic surgery is like a, uh, you're trying to go in through very small openings, okay? So these small openings are helping you to basically what? Put the laparoscope, laparoscope in. Okay, so let's define this from the definition and talk about the steps. As a procedure, I'll talk about the advantage, disadvantages, indications, and special considerations. So the open surgery for femoral hyena repair, um, uh, this involves what? Making a single incision in the groin area to access and repair the hyena, all right? So you're doing an incision, okay? Now, after you do the incision, you repair everything, they might put a mesh before you cover with the layers, okay? So what are the procedures or step-by-step? Step? Uh, this involves an incision. You do an incision that is about what, five to uh, seven centimeters incision. is made in the groin, usually below the inguinal ligament, okay? Dissection. Uh, the femoral sac is identified and dissected from the surrounding tissues, okay? Reduction. Femoral sac is reduced. And the femoral canal is explored. Okay, repair. This mesh now comes in. Right, non-absorbable mesh or suture repair is performed, reinforcing the femoral canal. Right, so you give the femoral canal back its strength. Closure. The incision is closed in layers. Advantages. Uh, what are the advantages of using the open surgery? So, okay, so you have direct access. Everything is open before you. Like the laparoscope, where you're having just small openings. This open surgery, everything is open before you, okay? You have direct access to the hernia sac. You have the ability to repair complex or large hernias, all right? There's a low risk of missing a concomitant word, inguinal hernia. So, in case there's an inguinal hernia that is coming out so little, so little, after you open everything, you are looking at everything, you inspect everything. And if there's even a inguinal hyena that is still upcoming, you can still what? Uh, how will I put it? You can still track it out. Okay? So what are the disadvantages? There will be large incision, which is larger than what is done in the laparoscopic method. Okay? So now because of large incision, it takes longer recovery time. Okay? There's a high risk of wound complications. All right? It can result to infections okay because probably the wound is not being taken care of adequately and this can lead to infections what are the indications like um, situations where you need to actually use this okay situations where you need to actually use this um, things like what um, Uh, if you have a primary femoral hyena, you might want to use this. If you have a recurrent femoral hyena, you might want to use this. If you have a large or complex hyena, you might want to use this, okay? If you have a concomitant inguinal and femoral hyena, you might want to use this, okay? So, like, basically, you have what the uh, femoral hyena and the inguinal hyena occurring at the same time, okay? So you might want to actually use this, okay? So special considerations, it requires expertise in femoral hyena repair, okay? Uh, you need to carefully what careful dissection and handling of tissues are necessary, okay? Um, the type of mesh you use, that's mesh selections and placement are critical for successful repair, all right? So the type of mesh you use is critical too. Okay. Okay. So still under the open surgeries, we actually will have uh, three approaches. Okay. 
and each of these approaches i'll be making a different video on it all right we have the infra inguinal approach also known as a look wood look wood approach then we have the supra inguinal approach also known as the mac everyday have images on that all right i have videos on that too we have the trans inguinal approach the trans inguinal approach known as what the low tension okay the low tension um method okay so guys how's it about what um this open surgery method for repair of femoral hyenas see you guys pretty soon